What is up, people? It's a beautiful Monday morning, and today's a really exciting day because I'm gonna go buy my first film camera. In my shoe, on my shoulder, heart full of blues out in the dirt. Down in the dirt. <laughs> So I just got out of the Starbucks. I was meeting a guy there that I found on Kijiji who was selling a film camera, more specifically this film camera. If you don't know what Kijiji is, think of it as eBay's attempt at doing Craigslist, but way, way less creepy. Uh, people can post things on there and sell like old electronics or new electronics or furniture or cars or whatever you really want. And yeah, like I said, it's basically like Craigslist, but without so many creepy things. I'm sure there are still creepy things on there, but I never seem to run into them. For some reason, it didn't really catch on in the States, but in Canada, I think it's kind of a bigger thing. It's basically synonymous with classifieds here. Anyway, I've been looking at film cameras on Kijiji. I found a good deal on one. So I met John here and he sold me this guy and I'm really excited to start using it I'm just about to stop and grab some batteries for that camera But before I do anything else you need to look at this. It's noon right now and the moon is still out How freaking crazy is that? I've been a big fan of Kijiji for a while now. I love finding things for a good deal. I love being able to like talk to the people that you're buying them from, barter with them if you want to. I know that makes some people, like my wife for example, really uncomfortable talking to someone about maybe adjusting the price. But for me, I think that's all kind of part of the fun. I'm a huge bargain shopper. I like to buy things on sale. I like to buy things used. I like to do a lot of research on the things that I'm buying before I buy them. Things like Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace, any kind of classified system where you get to like connect with the people that you're buying and you can do a little bit of like wheeling and dealing or you could be trading things. It's just such a cool process to me and I love the idea that I can sell something on Kijiji, hold on to that money to then buy something else on Kijiji. It's almost reminiscent of that story that I hear every once in a while about the guy who started with a pencil and just traded his way up until he had some kind of an old mansion or something like that. I just feel like I could sell something that I'm not using, someone else would get use out of and buy something else that might be more useful for me. Just last week, I bought this camera, not the lens, but just the camera so that I would have a backup and I sold another camera body that I was currently using as my backup. So I came out even, somebody else got a camera that worked for them that they were super excited to have and I got to upgrade my backup camera system. So now I have two identical ones. It came with this adapter thing. He had no use for it, so he just kind of threw it in with the package and it fits Pentax lenses. So when I started getting interested in shooting film, it would totally make sense to grab a Pentax camera so that I can use any lenses that I use for film shooting on my Sony digital cameras. I mean, I bought this camera on Kijiji. I bought my main drum set that I use in the studio on Kijiji. I bought two snare drums on Facebook Marketplace. I've sold cars on Kijiji. I've bought cars off Kijiji. Anyone know how many times I've said Kijiji so far? <sighs> now a small word of warning before you run out and start buying up a bunch of stuff off of Kijiji. Make sure you do your research, kind of know what you're looking for, at least know what kinds of things are available and how comparable one item is to another item. There are definitely people on there who are there to try and take advantage of people who don't understand what they're buying. So I really do highly suggest caution as far as knowing what you're getting into, what you're buying, is it worth what you're paying for it? Make sure you're getting a good deal. That's kind of the whole idea 
idea for Kijiji and for classifieds for me is to make sure to get a good deal. You know, there's really no point in buying something used if you're not getting a good deal on it. You know, maybe it's still in great condition and I do highly suggest making sure you check things out to make sure they're in great condition first, but you're getting something that may have problems, that may develop problems quicker. So if you're not getting a good deal, you might as well go buy something new. For example, when I was in the Starbucks, I had sat down and I pulled this thing apart. I looked at every nook and cranny. I made sure all of the parts were working. I mean, try and be a judge of character. And if you feel at all sketched out by what you're purchasing or by the person you're purchasing it from, just get out of there. There is no reason to put yourself in a situation that you're not comfortable with. And make sure that you are taking care of yourself before you're worried about, you know, socially being weird or anything like that. And my hair is doing something really weird today and I can't figure it out and I, I don't know what to do about it. So you're just gonna have to live with the craziness up here. Another little tip that I can give you is when you do meet someone to buy something or to sell something, meet somewhere public. It's just way safer. I think it was in Toronto where police stations were actually setting up designated Kijiji sale sites so you could actually meet somewhere near a police station or just outside a police station just so you'd feel more safe. But you know, I usually pick like a, a McDonald's or a Starbucks or a Tim Hortons or something that's like a nice public place where there's gonna be people around and nobody's gonna try and do anything that they shouldn't do. Now, that being said, I have a bit of an advantage. I'm a fairly large person and I am male, so right off the bat, a lot of people are going to be deterred from trying to do anything that they shouldn't do. But either way, I'm always very safe about it. I always make sure that my wife knows where I'm going and I let her know when I'm done so that she knows everything went okay and that I'm safe and good to go. Anyway, it's time for me to get some work done. The moral of the story is to just make sure that you're being safe about the whole thing. Make sure that you're staying within your comfort limits, like don't do anything that you feel uncomfortable with, and you should be good. I'm super excited to have a film camera. One of the reasons why I wanted to buy it was to really take my photography to the next level. I focus a lot on video work, so photography has always been kind of something that I just do while I'm taking videos so that I have some content for my Instagram, and I really wanted to kind of stay it up. I feel like I have a decent hold on how to get around in Lightroom, uh, which is the software that I use to edit my photos afterwards, but sometimes I find myself taking photos that probably aren't that good of a photo in the first place and manipulating it to the point where I feel like it is a good photo and then I kind of feel like I'm cheating a little bit. So one of the things that kind of inspired me to try and take on film photography is the idea that you don't really get that. You have to kind of take a good photo in the first place. There's a lot more kind of planning going into it. And I have a cool idea for a little challenge that I'm going to do with film photography, but I've got a little bit more research to do on types of films and that kind of thing first and I want to make that its own video so stay tuned for that maybe next week I'll have that all ready to go and I'm going to do a challenge and I encourage you if you're a film photographer to join me on this challenge I'll, I'll let you guys know about that in the future so make sure to tune back in for that but for now me and my crazy hair got to do some work so thanks so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the little bell notification button so you don't miss anything and I'll see you next time So I just finished my day and I actually have zero idea what is going on up here. So, see you next week.